to the Learning the Elements Through Illustrator video series. Each of these pages we'll be creating through this project will correspond with a different element of design. If you are interested in detailed plans, worksheets, and project outlines for this unit, go to digitalartteacher.com to learn more. Now that we have the pages in our project set up, it's time to further set up our pages so that they look like one cohesive project. In this video, I'll be covering using the line tool and the color picker. At the end of the video, I'll give you specific instructions on what you need to have completed before you move on to the next one. So on to the line tool. We're going to make lines across the top of each page that will connect to each of your vertical guides. So here is your line tool. If you click that, then you'll see that your cursor turns into this cross. And what we wanna do is line up the guides until you see intersect. When you see intersect, you can click and drag to make a line. So notice that as I move my mouse, it's dragging across to make this line. And I can use the guide to make my line holding down until I've got it in the right spot. When it says intersect, I can let go. But to make it a little easier for you, you can click and drag across and hold shift. And shift makes it look like the line went away, but actually it's just under my guide here. So if I move my mouse down, then you'll see that it snaps to the 45 degree angle or to the vertical angle. And I could go all the way around like this. And it only goes to the vertical, the 45 or the horizontal. So if I'm holding shift, I move until I get to the other side where it says intersect and I let go of my mouse, then you have a line. Now you might not be able to see your line and that's because of what I have selected in my color picker. The color picker allows you to pick colors for whatever object that you have selected. So right now I have no stroke and no fill. So let's go over what those are. The fill is the actual inside of an object. A line does not have a fill. So we're not gonna worry about the fill for our line. The stroke is the outline of an object. And since a line is just an outline, that's what we'll be looking at today. To change your stroke, you can double click on that box and you'll get your color picker options. You can scroll up and down, find the color you want by clicking inside of the color box and click OK. Now you should be able to see the color on your page. A couple of other things to talk about your color picker. If you accidentally make your color in the wrong one, say I used my fill to get my color, and I think, oh no, my color didn't change, well, it's easy to switch that by clicking this swap button. And now I have a red line instead of a blue line. And I can go back and forth, as long as you have it selected. If you don't have it selected, it's not gonna work. If you decide, oh, I just don't really like any of these, I just wanna go back to default. Default will always be a white fill with a black stroke. The other things down here, this is a solid color that we have selected right now. You can switch to a gradient, but we're not gonna talk about that right now. And you can switch to none if you want to have no fill and you can switch to the stroke and say none and have no stroke. But we do wanna have a stroke <laughs> and we wanna make it a color. So I'm gonna click this blue color. One of the great things about Illustrator is that you can use the guides and rulers to make artboards that work together and look like a cohesive whole. In the same way that we put guides on all the pages, we'll put a line across the top of each of the pages in exactly the same place. And for the fun of it, go ahead and make each line a different color. So recapping, hold shift, bring it all the way across, go to your color picker and choose a color of your liking. Do each of the pages this way. If you like this video and you'd like to have more resources like it, you can go to Digital Art Teacher to learn more. See you in the next video.